Hi friends, welcome to another edition of the Healthy Corner. What's the big deal about coenzyme Q10? Is it just one of those screaming headlines that seems too good to be true? Or does the decades of research and medical studies from several countries around the world substantiate the recognition given to this powerful antioxidant? Here is a little history on the discovery of CoQ10. Coenzyme Q10, better known as CoQ10, was discovered in 1957 by Dr. Frederick Crane of Wisconsin. Clinical trials accelerated in the 1980s as a result of the availability of pure CoQ10 located off the shore of Japan and the ability to measure CoQ10 in the blood and tissue. Continuing efforts by Lars Ernster of Sweden confirmed the role of CoQ10 as an antioxidant and free radical scavenger. And to add even more credibility, Professor Carl Foker's work with CoQ10 earned him the Priestley Medal in 1986 and the National Medal of Science from President Bush in 1990. Needless to say, the benefits of CoQ10 are numerous and a primary nutrient for maintaining the intricate workings of your body particularly the proper functioning of the heart. Coenzyme Q10 is a fat-soluble vitamin-like compound that serves as a coenzyme for many of the vital enzymatic steps that supports the production of energy within a cell. Literally, every cell in the human body contains coenzyme Q10 and is essential for optimal function. In other words, the heart requires huge amounts of energy to function properly, and without the proper amount of CoQ10, it is difficult to maintain cardiovascular health. Also, decreased levels of coenzyme Q10 could possibly lead to a variety of health issues. I think you get the picture. CoQ10 plays a major role in the production of cell energy. Without this energy, the cells in your body can't function. Where do we find CoQ10? The primary dietary resources of coenzyme Q10 are found in fish, fresh sardines, and mackerel. Organ meats such as heart, liver, and kidney, as well as the beef or lamb itself. You can also find CoQ10 in eggs and certain vegetable sources, peanuts, spinach, broccoli, wheat germ, and some grains. However, Let's put the daily dietary intake needed to maintain normal levels of CoQ10 into perspective. It would take one pound of sardines, two pounds of beef, or a pound and a half of peanuts to supply 30 milligrams of CoQ10 each and every day. Did I mention that these foods should be fresh, raw, unprocessed, and yes, in an unpolluted environment? in order to receive the proper amount of CoQ10 needed on a daily basis. What is the possibility of that happening? Just a note, the research on coenzyme Q10 has shown that many of the cholesterol-lowering medications have a limiting CoQ10 enzyme production action that takes place in the liver, where cholesterol is lowered and the end result is a depletion of the CoQ10 in your body. If you are taking any of these medications, please do your research and then discuss the possibility of supplementing with CoQ10 with your doctor. What is an effective supplementing amount? A normal suggestive amount for an adult is 30 to 90 milligrams per day. However, if you have specific health challenges, Higher levels can be used. If you are considering CoQ10 supplementation, please check with Capture Health and find out more information on their emulsified form of CoQ10 offered through Biotics Research Corporation. There is a lot of misleading information about CoQ10 supplements. Get the facts, not the hype. How do I know what my CoQ10 level is? Capture Your Health gives you the ability to check your CoQ10 level through the healthy community. 
Just click on the healthy community and then the functional health checks. Based on what your level shows is how we would recommend the amount of CoQ10 needed for your body. There is so much to research and if you want more information on CoQ10, just click on the link listed on the Capture Your Health website. This is Bud Torito for The Healthy Corner. Have a blessed day.